Hi, Timothy Unigard here. In this video, I want to talk about a minimal Emacs text editor or Emacs-like text editor, which is called Jove. And I'm going to go through some of the movement commands in Jove. Now, Jove runs in a terminal. It doesn't have a GUI as far as I know. So um, it's if you like a lightweight Emacs in the terminal, Jove may be the text editor for you. Okay. To install Jove, if you're on Debian 10, or 11, you'd type sudo apt install Jove. I've already got it installed, so it's giving me the message that I've already got it installed. And to enter Jove, you're just going to type Jove, and now you're in Jove. Okay. Now, if I want to uh, open a file in Jove, for instance, Jove, and then a file called Jove-commands.txt, I would type Jove and then the name of the file and hit enter, and that's going to bring me to uh, the discussion of this topic, which is how to move around in Jove. You'll find a lot of these are very, very similar, if not exactly the same, to Emacs. Okay, so uh, with um, the movement commands, I have an uppercase C and an uppercase M. C is the controller command key. M is the meta key, which is typically the alt key. Okay, um, I will put this up on my website, leave a link in the description in case you want to check that out there as well. All right, so let's talk about movement. So let's go down to this line, and if we want to move forward one word, I'm going to use Alt F, and that's going to move me forward one word. To move backward one word, it's Alt B. Same exact thing as an Emacs. Okay. To move forward a character, just like Emacs, Control F, and to move back, Control B. Okay. You can also use the left and the right arrow to move back and forward and up and down. So you can use the arrow keys just like in Emacs. Uh, to move forward a screen, you do Control V. To move backward a screen, Alt V. That's just like in Emacs. Um, if we want to, let's say we're down on this line here. Let's go down one more line. And say I wanted to center the line, I could do Control L. And just like Emacs, it will center the line, OK? Um, okay, so to move uh, to a previous line, we do Control P, which is just like Emacs. To move to the next line, we do Control N, and also the up and down arrow keys uh, work as well. To create a new line below the current line, you go to the end of the current line, press Enter. That's just like any kind of typical uh, text editor or Word document. To move to the end of the buffer, you're going to do Alt Shift and the greater than symbol. So uh, really, it's just Alt Shift and the period key. And to move to the beginning of the buffer, you're going to do Alt Shift and the less than, or Alt less than, which is Alt Shift and the comma, just like Emacs, OK? Um, now, if you want to repeat a command, you can do Alt and the number and then the command. And it's going to repeat that command that amount of times. Uh, this is just like an Emacs as well. So if I want to move up 10 lines, I can do Alt, 10, Control, P, and that's going to move up 10 lines. Likewise, if I want to move down 10 lines, I can also use, besides Alt and the number, I can use Control, U and the number, just like Emacs. So Control, U, 10, Control, N. That's going to move me down 10 lines. I can also use Escape, and then the number, and then the command. So I can do escape, 10, control P. That's going to move me up 10 lines. Escape, let's do 11, control N. That moves me down 11 lines, OK? To move to a specific line number, uh, you can do escape, then the number you want to move to, and then Alt G, OK? So if I want to do escape and move to line 5, I do escape, 5, Alt G. And that's going to put me on line five, which I'm on line five right now. OK, let's do Control V to move down a little bit and then Control P to move up a little bit. OK, uh, Control G will quit from certain numerical commands. Uh, Control O is an interesting one. So Control O, if I go, uh, let's say, to the beginning of this line, and I want to create a space between Control D deletes a character and Alt D deletes a word, I can do Control O, and that's going to create a space in between those two lines. Okay, so I, I like that one. That one's pretty cool. 
Uh, control D will delete a character. So I want to do Control D, deletes a character. Um, okay, and I'll put it back. And I, I was trying to undo it with my Emacs command, but it's not quite the same. Okay, uh, Alt D will delete a word. So let's go forward to deletes. Uh, go back here and do Alt D. That deleted deletes. I'll put that back. Uh, okay. Uh, control K will kill to the end of the line. So let's do Control K there. So we killed to the end of the line. Let's go create a sentence here and then make this is another sentence. I hit two spaces there to separate the sentences. And let's go I don't know, to the beginning of the line and for a few words and we'll do Alt K. OK, so that deleted to the end of the sentence. Uh, control X, Control F is just like Emacs. It's fine file. Control X, Control S is to, saves the file. OK, so we can save it since we've changed it. Okay, so we changed it, now we saved it. Um, and then Control X, Control C will quit Jeff. So that's some of the movement and some of the save commands and being able to repeat the commands in this text editor called Jove, which is a minimalistic Emacs text editor for the terminal. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as we'll help get out to more people. You also consider subscribing to my channel as it really does help the channel grow. And I wanna thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.